Okay, we're doing procedure one of the acid base lab, and a student is going to demonstrate that. And we have uh, hydrochloric acid as one molar, we have acetic acid as one molar, we have one molar sodium hydroxide and one molar ammonia. And now our good student here, Jacob, is going to tell you all about what he does as he does it. So first you need to get five drops of hydrochloric acid okay. in the well plate. In the well plate. Why don't we use these, these four across here? Then you put five drops of acidic acid in the well plate. Okay, are you going to put it in the same well? <coughs> no, in the different one. In okay, one. good. Okay, so we have hydrochloric in the first one, and now we're putting in acetic. Okay, good. And next you have to test the pH. You have to test the, the pH of it. Okay. And you're going to put the pH paper in there for that. Okay. Now you want to make this go down and read it immediately. Don't wait. It's two. Wait, one. pH of okay. one. Okay, pH is one. Now we're going to leave that in there, and you're going to see by the time we finish that pH will actually change because hydrochloric acid is a gas. It prefers to be in the gas state. It does dissolve in water, and when it does, it, it ionizes 100%. But it will go back to the gas state as much as possible, as fast as possible, and so you will actually see a change in pH, which means about 10% of the hydrochloric acid is going to go back into the gas state in the time that we do this video, which is kind of neat. Okay. And you have to test the pH of acetic acid. Okay. Here's our acetic acid. And what would you call the pH on that? Four. Okay, so let's record that as a four and carry on. Then you have to put five drops of what is it? Na NaOH. Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. Okay. And then you have to put five drops of ammonium. Now, I should do this in two stages so you don't lose track of what's where. <laughs> if you put them all four in the same, at the same time, you might uh, forget who is in which well. Then you have to test the pH of both. Okay. Wow, that one got some color, didn't it? The pH of uh, hydro sodium sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is fourteen. Fourteen, okay. Fourteen, that's right up there at the top of the scale, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Then you have to test the next one. Okay. And what's the ammonia look like? Uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay. Fourteen to eleven. What's the difference in concentration? Ah. Three is the pH difference. Each power of 10 represents another 10 times more concentrated. So how much more concentrated is the, the um, sodium hydroxide? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. A thousand. Three powers of 10. 10 to the third, three zeros. OK, a thousand. So. Now, let's look back. What would you call the pH in the hydrochloric acid well sitting right here? What would you say that is now compared on your pH scale? Uh, your little thing. Two. Aha. Uh -huh. You see? It's gone up to a two. From one to a two, okay, that higher amount means that there's ten times or one, yeah, about one, uh, ten percent, ten percent of that HCl is gone. Just gone. Okay, so... That's, that's a very good demo. Okay, your group did very well.